Hello everyone! In this short video I will show you step by step how to connect your Oculus slash MetaQuest 2 to PC using Wi-Fi and Airlink. Remember that connection quality is tied to your Wi-Fi network and computer performance. It is best but not mandatory to use Wi-Fi 6 router and a good gaming PC. First, we need to install Quest 2 PC app. If you already have it on your PC, make sure to update it to the latest software version. To download it, visit oculus.com slash setup, you can find this link in the description. Click download Quest 2 PC app button, wait a bit and open downloaded file. Great, select your language and click get started. Agree to terms and conditions, select location and install now. Now wait, the installation process might take a while, depending on the speed of your internet connection. Great, now we have to log in into the same account that you're using on your Oculus slash MetaQuest 2. So continue a Facebook or Oculus account, depends on what you're using. Okay, now it's time for your headset. Make sure that you're using the latest software version and that your headset is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer. Of course, your computer doesn't need to use a Wi-Fi, it's even better to use a cable on PC, but it has to be the same network, the same device, the same router. Put on your headset, open Quick Settings, now Settings, Experimental, and enable Airlink. Read Requirements and click Continue. Now in Quick Settings we should see a new option, Oculus Airlink. That is where we pour new and connect to already paired devices. Select your computer from a list and click Pair. If you can't find your computer on a list, try to restart your headset and also try to restart your Oculus software on a PC. To do that, go to Settings, Beta, Restart Oculus. You can also try to restart the whole PC. Go back to your computer screen for a second and click Confirm if the pairing code is the same like the one on your Oculus Quest 2. Go back to your Quest 2 and click Continue. Now click Launch. Wait a few seconds and you should be connected to your PC now. To exit, on the bottom bar click First option, Oculus Airlink and quit. From now, you can play all Oculus PC games on your Quest 2. You just have to install them on your computer. It's also the way to play VRChat on your PC, but it is not recommended. Because it's much better to use SteamVR, so we will try to install it right now. SteamVR will give you an access to more VR features, games, so it's definitely worth it, right? Quick tip before we start. Go to your Oculus PC software, Settings, General, scroll down and make sure that automatically launch Oculus Home is disabled so you won't launch Oculus Home every time you start playing VR. It's very useful. Open your Steam client and in the store search for Steam VR. Find it on a list and install. After installation, again, put your headset on, click Quick Settings, Airlink, select your PC and launch. One thing that might be confusing right now is that there is no Steam VR on your app list or even in the library, but it's pretty easy to fix. Move your headset a bit up on your head so that you can see your computer screen and run Steam VR directly from Steam. After a few seconds, it should load on your Quest 2. Now click Home button on your left controller and now you have access to all Steam VR games, for example, VRChat. As you can see, everything works perfectly fine and we are not limited to any Quest compatible content. Now, when you leave VRChat and SteamVR, a new option should appear in your library and apps. So anytime you want to play a Steam game, just click SteamVR in your Oculus app and that's it. I have to say here that Erling and SteamVR can cause a lot of problems. I'm not an expert here, but if you have any issues, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below, I will do my best to help you. If you think that this video was good enough, and it helped you anyway, 
please don't forget to leave a like and maybe consider a subscription. See you soon in the future videos. Bye!